I'm different. Sup, boys and girls? Tweety here. We're on the Feed the Beast test world. I mean, my test world on Feed the Beast. And we're going to be doing an advanced bee breeding tutorial with a little music in the background. Um, hopefully by now you've had, you've got plenty of bees. Oh, get out of here. Hopefully by now you've got a plenty of bees. Diligent, cultivated, um, maybe, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, this is not for the beginner at Feed the Beast. You need to at least know how to, you know, look up, build or look up how to build all the equipment. I'm not going to go over that. Um, because the uh, too many items mod in Feed the Beast is pretty self-explanatory. Um, but what I am going to do is tell you how to breed bees. Alright, those guys are annoying now. Annoying! Oh, now will they not see me now? Nope. Get out of here. Um, so, yes, um, if you want to look up how to get a bee, and you want to do it the cheaty way, at least I think it's a cheaty way, um, as you can look up the, uh, Master Apparatus Database, right here, just put in Master. Who's your master? There it is. And... You can look at it. And everything is filled in. Um, you'll be doing basically the same steps, but it will be with different bees. Uh, our goal here is to get resilient bees. Right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at resulting mutations. Um, and it's a tolerant and a hardy. To get a hardy, it's a rocky and a tolerant. To get a tolerant, it's a rocky and a diligent. Um, hopefully by now you also have, uh, you know, a, a buttload of uh, tropical bees going so that you can get the um, silky wisp to make a bee suit. Um, because some of these guys are dangerous. These guys, on the other hand, right here, they have beatific on them. Uh, if you look over here every once in a while, you'll see it. My uh, regeneration will go up. At least it should. Come on now. Don't make me liar. Yeah? No? No? Okay. Um, basically, if I just reloaded my bar here down here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to step in here. You don't have to use these. I'm just saying that these are going to be more efficient than using the soul frames. Uh, these are mutator blocks. They take uranium ore. The uranium ore takes uh, is a 10 multiplier. So I have five of them in here. So that's 50 times whatever the percent chance is. So if we look at tolerant, right? Resulting mutation is a rocky and a diligent. There is a 15% chance that that will work. Multiply that by 50. What are we looking at? 750%, right? If I'm doing my math right. So that's a 750% chance that that's going to work with five mutator blocks. Um, you could also set up, set this up in a survival map or a survival world, uh, but I would use these uh, frame housings instead of these blocks here and put chocolate frames in them 
because then you will reduce the lifespan of the bees by 50%. You can go really quickly. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a Rocky Princess and we're going to come over here and get our get some diligent drones because we know we'll need those and we're going to need some cultivated as well. And we will bam right there, right? If you're in creative mode, you can use the Nova frames, which are awesome. They basically will one cycle or whatever, 20, 30 seconds or whatever, and bam, the bee is done. And you get your resulting mutation or whatever. Um, yeah, don't make me a liar. Uh, but uh, hopefully you've been you know, now that you have your Imperial Vs and you have your Royal Jelly, you've been making uh, these empty serum vials. And hopefully you have fast production and normal fertility or some other type of fertility. And you've run them through a synthesizer. And see, it brought it down to awful quality. Charge it up. Bring it up to excellent quality by putting it in the purifier. Because you want good bees to use. Um, hmm. what we can do uh, okay now that that's over I got distracted by the leaden bees there um, yeah so you, hopefully you've had all that stuff done and if we look in here look at that because there's only one mutation that'll possibly get that outcome bam perfect every time. These are superior bees right here. These are cream of the crop right here, right? Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. There we go. Uh, these are purebred. Purebred bees. You don't need to worry about them. There's tolerant, tolerant. Everything is exactly the same on all of them, right? And what you do, or what I would do, is I take them over here, and this high fertility serum, I would toss them in there, right? To make more babies. And then you take those, now that they're making more babies, and you put them in here, right? Something like this. It's, you know, just an apiary, has a uh, auto arch gate, some. Uh, Stone pipe, cobblestone, stone, cobblestone, alternating so they don't connect. Apparatus pipe with any bees going down and anything going up into the um, pipe above. You can make them go all to the right in the apiary pipe. But uh, let's say this, this one doesn't have any drones in it and this one goes first. The drones from this one, the extra drones, will come over here and plop right in there. And then you'll have, you won't have purebred drones anymore, or purebred bees anymore, unless you have a whole stack in here still. Um, if this was all the same, let's say all of these were tolerant, then it'd be fine because, you know, they're all the same. This tolerant going here the, and so on, it wouldn't matter. Um, one way or the other if they were all the same. And are those not stacking? Uh, oh no, that's the first, first cycle. They're fine. I just want to run my extra my extra drones should be in here. Come on now. Um, so yeah, we get, uh, we get down here. We get the um, Tolerant drone, right? Bam, we have tolerant drones, right? I have 32 of them. Bring them over here to the isolator. Take these other crappy bees out of here. We don't need those anymore. And we throw those tolerants in there. Actually, th why didn't they stack? There we go. They're all the same. And we let them go. Right? And we try to get the, yeah, species serum. 
with this serum, of course it'll be the tolerant uh, species serum, with this serum we can throw that in the synthesizer, into the purifier, oh it's done, and into one of the inoculators just like that and uh, then we'll be able to take any bee we want, wintry, uh, marshy, meadow, whatever, and we can turn it into a tarnished, no matter, or a tolerant, no matter what. But, oh, there it is right there. We're done. Get out of there. We're done. There's nothing else I want from you. Well, well, if I didn't already have them, um, the, uh, you can get the, uh, nocturnal, uh, nocturnal cave and uh, flyer serums, the rain ones. But uh, yeah, now that we got this, we have our tolerant princesses, tolerant drone, right? Have those in there. Then what we do is we get another rocky princess and diligent drone and do a new one because the ones that we just made are in that guy making babies for us. And we'll pretend we've already done that, and these are them, right? So we take the Tolerant Princess and a Rocky Drone. And let them have babies. Um, talk about this. The gene pool setup that I got over here, you probably don't need two, but I set it up with two anyway. Just because I'm on creative mode, and I can. Uh, we have a liquid test rack down here. Frequency 27, the same frequency that's on top of my my DNA tank that's over there. And I just have a little simple uh, transposer hooked up with some pneumatic tubing to go to each one of these. And I can throw my extra bees. Uh, mm, yeah, that I don't need into here. And they will be funneled into here and be made into DNA. Oh. I, will, I wanted to see this. Three. Okay, good. It only went down by one. Do you see that? I was wondering about that. Because usually you don't put a stack in there. Or maybe you do. I don't know. That's good to know. It only drops. It works properly. There's a couple of the B, B things that you put a whole stack in. You know, you put a whole stack of Bs in or something. And... Um, it's going to, like, use up that whole stack. Um, let me think. Oh, this one. I think it's a sequencer. Put a whole stack of bees in here. It's going to use all the whole stack as if it was just one. Right. So anyway, we do this. We get our hardened princess and hardened drone. And guess what we do? That's right. We run back over here. Or we fly. Whatever. And we throw the fertility serum on them. And then after we do that, we stick them into one of these so that they can make us babies. Because we need the babies. And then you breed another rocky princess into a tolerant that tolerant into a hardy okay pretend we already did that and we take the hardy and a tolerant throw them in and let it go um yeah hopefully you have some jungle bees and you're getting the uh uh sticky comb from them. No. Comb. That it? Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Mm -mm. There. Oh, silky comb. Oh, I didn't want. I didn't want one. I wanted to. You it. Um. And yeah, put it in centrifuge. Silky propolis and honey drops. Then you take that silky propolis 
And you can make that. Oh, wait. That's not what we're trying to do. Centrifuge it again. And we get Silk Wisps. And with that Silk Wisps, we'll you it. And I just said that I wasn't going to be doing this, didn't I? Darn it. Said I wasn't going to be showing you how to make stuff. This, this was for advanced users. Ah, all right. Well, there's in a carpenter. There's your woven silk. Since we're already here, we'll do it one more time. And there's how you make. You know, it's just a regular recipe, but with woven silk for chest plate, um, hat, whatnot. You can also make these cool backpacks too. Uh, 45 slots in these guys. But uh, oh, regeneration. Um, so yeah. Hopefully you've done that too, because I know some of the bees can be pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. Uh, the um, jungle bees, where you get the, the silky comb, uh, they are already nasty. They're already nasty bees, because they, they have poison on them. But don't worry, it just poisons you and brings your health down as long as you are building in a safe place, you'll be fine. You can only go down to half a heart with poison. But, uh, you know, once you're down to half heart, anything will kill you. One punch, right? Um, so just make sure you're in your safe place. You know, in a hole or something. <laughs> uh, but anyway, from here, um, if we look at our database and we see go down to resilient and now we go to further mutations now this may or may not be filled in for you yet um, depending on your process that you've been doing but cultivated here does four different types of bees each and every single one has a five percent chance right um, so if we take and do that, right, cultivated with the resilient, we are guaranteed to get a mutation because of the mutators, but we are not guaranteed which mutation it's going to be, right? Um, like with the rocky and diligent that we had before. Let's look at the database. If we look up Rocky and we go to further mutations, Rocky Diligent. It's the only one, right? There's no other uh, Diligent on here, right? No other combination will get you tolerant or get you anything else. So that is why you're guaranteed to get a tolerant. And it's perfect tolerant. It's purebred. Is because of that. But because these guys, um, there's four different types of bees that this can possibly turn into. We're not guaranteed that this is a leaden purebred princess and a leaden purebred drone. And in fact, it's a leaden rusty drone or a uh, princess. And the drone is not much better. But don't fret. We can still use these guys. Um, we can throw them back in there. Right? And, you know, hope for the best. And lead in does not mix with anything else. If we look at our, at our database here. Um, uh, where is it? Legend, I passed it today. There, there, there. Um, there are no further mutations for leaden. There are for rust for the uh, rusties, but not for the leaden. So um, we don't have to worry about the uh, leaden and rusty mixing into some other species if that's what we're trying to trying to get. Hey guys, I was editing my video and uh, we're talking about how the leaden drones have no further mutations and you probably noticed that I had them in that apiary producing extra drones. 
that is an oversight on my part. I didn't realize that until right now when I was editing the video. Um, that we really don't need extra drones from these guys. Um, you can't use their drones and mix them with some other princess uh, to get a mutation. So there's no point in having them produce extra drones unless you're going to put them through your uh, gene pool. So anyway, that's it. Back to the video. But it uh, looks like we're just going to keep getting lead and rusty. Active, inactive, forever. So what we might want to have to do is start over. Oop, diligent. Um, and you know this process could take a long time before you actually get a uh, purebred lead in. I know it's taken me f six takes of this video to get these guys. Um, and it could take, you know, that's probably about an hour at least. It's taken at least an hour. No, an hour and a half. Almost two. Crap. Uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's how it's done. I just want to try one more thing. Um, once we get back up to a uh, resilient. I want to try the diligent drones with the resilient instead of the cultivated. Because I don't have anything else with my resilient further mutation. See? Just cultivated. And there's also one down here that we haven't even discovered yet. Um, it could be like this one right here. Once we discover this one, then it goes with this one. Right? But, uh, I'm hoping that this is, you know, resilient and diligent right there. But, uh, it could be, you know, resilient, resilient, diligent, diligent. There's two different types of bees that could possibly come out. But uh, we shall see. Let me just throw this tolerant in there like that. Hardy tolerant. Blah, blah. Extra hardies. Extra drones. Oop. Go into here. Just like that. Because I'm sure you'll have lots of extra drones, as do I. And your, uh, your toolbar up here, your pockets will get full quickly. Your inventory will be full all the time. I don't know if I want to use those again. Resilient drone. Nah. Okay. Resilient princess. Resilient drone. Let's throw the diligent in there this time. And see what we get. And then I will call it an episode for this beekeeping tutorial. And... Anyway. We'll get this ready. <laughs> Ending <laughs> credits. Ending snap video. Or er, ending music, I mean. So here we go. Any second now. Oh, crap. Darn it. Nova. My Nova frame broke. I knew it was going to happen. Normal fertility serum. All right. Throw that anyway in there. Okay. See, usually it, when that steps down, that's when it would be done. But the Nova frame was in there. So there we go. Oh, we have a box site and a box site. So let's look at our database here. And resilient. Further mutations. There we go. Resilient, diligent, makes a box height. 5% chance, guaranteed. These should be perfect bees. Yes, they are. They are purebred bees, all red. That's what you like to see is red, red, red. Yeah, more and more red. So what we do is we take these guys, fly over here, normal. Oh, no, no, high fertility serum. Bam, bam. Throw those guys in there. Let it work. Throw them into an apiary or an alviary. 
um, when they get done. Hey guys, just wanted to interrupt again. Um, we just got the bauxite bees, and I should have checked it. I'm going to check it every single time now. There are no further mutations for these ones either. So um, there's no reason to produce extra drones. Anyway, back to the video. Maybe even throw uh, fast worker, elongated life, uh, nocturnal cave uh, flyer so that they work in the rain. You know, all that sort of stuff. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and end it now. Thanks for watching. Uh, like if you liked it, dislike if you didn't like it, and leave me a comment telling me what you liked or didn't like. Because um, I'm always trying to improve. I'm trying to get better at this. So, let them do their music thing. Okay, we'll talk to you later. I'm out of here.